It's Bev, your favorite 74-year-old. Okay, now today I want to talk about um, working out. How often should you work out, that is lift weights, for optimal results? And I don't care what gender you are. So um, let me just say, you know, have you been praying to the fat loss gods with very little results? Um, first of all, working out is not an art. It is a science. It's based on muscle anatomy, um, biomechanics, force loads, uh, biochemical adaptation. So the fat loss gods, frankly, are clueless about all of that kind of stuff. I mean, you you know, people, they starve themselves. They, they try all these different things to lose fat. Uh, and maybe even they think they're gaining muscle by, you know, running all the time. Um, you know, the... The fat loss gods, they just don't listen to that kind of thing, or the muscle building gods. Um, so I'm going to give you seven basic, easy to remember workout rules. Now, I don't want to suggest that working out is simple. Um, these rules are, you know, they're biochemically um, complicated. You don't have to know the reasons, but, um, you know, if you want to know the reasons, if you're curious, like I was when I was losing weight, in my early 60s, um, you can read my book, Are You Fat Making or Calorie Burning? And it's going to answer all your questions. It's the book I could never find, right? Uh, but anyway, let's go to the first rule. The first thing is you should lift weights 80 to 85% of your weekly time of exercise and do cardio 15 to 20%. Um, over, as I say, the seven days. Now, what you want, I'm assuming your goals are to gain lean muscular tissue and to lose excess fat. So what you're playing with is your body fat percentage ratio. You want more lean and less fat. And your body fat percentage is really the best measurement of your health, of your physical fitness. Um, not scale weight, you know, like I weigh the same as, oh, you know, one of my clients weighs the same as me and she looks quite obese and I'm quite lean. So we weigh within a pound of each other. She can never believe it, but it's because I have a, a much lower body fat percentage than does she. Okay, let's look at some of these other simple rules based on complex uh, rationale. But we're not going to talk about the rationale we're just going to talk about these simple rules, okay? So first of all, as I say, how, how you exercise over the week. And you should work out four to six days weekly. And you have to hit all your muscle groups two to three times, you know, when you're weightlifting weekly. And I would say you don't have to be in the gym more than 60, maybe 75 minutes. I mean, these people that are in for two and three hours every day, I don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't need to be in that long. Um, so even if you do cardio at the end of your weightlifting, you don't have to be in there longer than an hour and a quarter or so, okay? Otherwise, you're just being completely inefficient with, I don't know what you're doing, but anyway, maybe overtraining, I don't know. Okay, and the next three and the last rules are these. Use about... 9 to 12 sets per muscle group, okay? So chest or back or legs or whatever you're doing. Um, and use three to four different exercises. Sometimes you can get away with two, but three or four different exercises for each of those muscle groups. And that's because muscles are not simple. They have a number of origins or heads. Um, so the biceps have two that run down and insert into the elbow area. So you have to exercise both of those right? You can't just do the long head or just do the short head. You have to do them both. Um, so this is what I mean by all heads. And if you do different exercises, generally, you're going to hit all of the heads of a muscle. Now, you should change your, tra your training programs every four to nine weeks. Um, you can do it out of boredom, but really, um, what you want to do is you want to prevent your body from adapting to what you're doing because your body is pretty smart. It always wants to save you. And so whatever you're doing, it's going to figure out what you're doing and it's going to adapt. It's going to become much more efficient. Um, and plateauing is a problem, right? Like, you know, suddenly you're not making all the gains or reaching the goals that you want. You 
send a, you hit a plateau. Okay. If you change your pro time, training program, that's going to help alleviate that. And an example with, um, uh, adaptation is the mail, you know, the posty guy. He runs around, he delivers mail all over the place. He's walking tons of miles a day. At the beginning, he loses a little bit of fat. Maybe he gains, you know, teeny bit of muscle. But then after, after a while, his body just gets used to it, right? And I'm sure you've seen overweight mailmen, okay? This is why, because your body will adapt. Um, this kind of detail is in my book. But these are very simple rules, okay? Follow all of these rules and you will meet your goals. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.